Yeah, for me to. Dude, dude, dude! I'm military. <laughs> you can, you can talk my head off all day long. Yeah, I'm starting a stream, so I'm trying to at least. Search my name. I am alive. Is it running decent though? Oh yeah, it is. Okay. You on there? Let's have a gander. Clay cut show. Here we go. Um, channels, no channels. I don't. It's fucking. This phone is shit. What? This phone is stupid. Oh, I can show you the plane that I was talking about too, if you want to see it. Open in a new tab. Live streaming studio. Waiting for it to pull up. It might just hate my life. It's okay. <laughs> my computer tends to hate me, so just it's a it's a dual core running a quad core processor, like or quad core like process. So it, solves it, that. so it absolutely hates me. Like, all the time. I always overclock my computer. Dude, just put Semtex on it. Semtex solves everything. Nah, man. <laughs> Trust me. Semtex solves everything. I know better than that. Alright, well, apparently <laughs> my stream is just going full retard. So, if you, uh, can you see the video? Just, just type in my name and it should pop up. Because for whatever reason, like... Yeah, I've you... got your name on the, on the clear cut show, yeah. Uh, Refresh the tab and it should pop up. Six. Oh, there we go. Yeah, refresh it should be at the top. Oh, Nailed please, it. Cool. You see the plane? Yeah, that's Okay, cool. so I'm going to show you the craziness that is this plane real quick because it's just it's so bizarre man to not have any like rudder oh god that is so loud so it has no rudder right yeah i i know i'm a little bit behind but you're like reverberating back into the stream <laughs> it's just gonna keep echoing over and over again um but like I'm I'm going to try one of the crazier things in this plane and see if it'll actually handle it cuz I did go all the way across the Kerbal Space Center like completely sideways with my engines like 45 degrees pointing at the ground just launching me forward. Very weird. Very bizarre plane. All right. And you'll see what I'm talking about by like I could practically do a flat spin in this thing just going through the air. It's stupid. It kind of reminds me of a frisbee. If that makes sense. Yeah. I'm going to adjust these. Because uh, if I'm going to be pushing its limits, I want it to have full authority. There's roll. But there is no yaw. There's a second. Alright. Yeah, watch this. How does this happen? What the hell? <laughs> you see how stupid it's flying oh, straight completely oh. sideways. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah, watch this. Like, hold on, hold on. You ready? Flat spin. <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> you see the stupidest barrel roll ever? <laughs> like Yeah, that was mental. It's insane. I don't know. I don't. It just. It's so bizarre. That just shouldn't. That physically shouldn't happen. <laughs> yeah. Like, watch, watch, watch. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do it upside down now. Ooh! I tapped the wing. If I would have leveled out, it would have pulled right out of that. 
I've had so many close encounters like that, but like, yeah, that's insane, isn't it? <laughs> Just absolutely stupid. There's a bit of a lag between, between me, me and you talking and me seeing it on the video, and it's, it's fucking crazy. Dude, it's it's absolutely insane. Like, just the... Man. Plane's like dumb, isn't it? <laughs> Highly encourage you to try and build one, though, because they are pretty fun to fly. Like, it is consistently, like, the most fun plane that I've ever flown. And, like, I built a biplane with a reverse engine on it. That flies off a reverse <laughs> thrust. Like... It's probably what, one of my what, favorite. A push, a push instead of a pull. No, 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 no. I I built it using reverse thrust. Like, the engine is mm. pointing backwards on the plane and is using the reverse thrust to go forwards. <laughs> That's weird. How Hold on. Does that work? Hold on. Revert it back to space plane. Hang on. I'll, I'll just pull it out so you can see it. It uses the reverse thruster. I ha I, the biplane has enough. Um reverse thrust that if you mount it backwards it's actually able to fly off of the thrust rename b2 it's like the funnest airplane i've had uh safe craft yeah just look at these mental aircrafts that i have right here you think that one's mental look at this sucker It's so big, I can't fit it all in my screen. <laughs> like. Wow. That's like a 747. That's exactly what it is. It's a 747-8. That's what it's based off of. Yeah. Oh, and the cargo hole goes all the way up. So, oh like. God. I'm just going to open up the back. You'll see it, like, 30 seconds after I, I show you. But, like. See how it goes all the way up and in? Oh my god, you can fit the world in there. But like, once you see it... You can it, literally fit the world in there. Yeah, once you see it, like, the front... Where you wouldn't expect it to be, even has storage. Like... <laughs> Alright. So, um... Let me go turn to Space Center. So apparently I'm going to have a conference call here soon. So I'm going to have to like, if it, if I start getting a phone call, I'm going to quickly mute my mic, mute my stream, and I'll just keep doing what I'm doing. Okay. Yeah, cool, dude. All right. So here you go. Just so that you can see how I, I, I do docking in my game. I'll just dock to um, my space station that's already up there. This is a legit career, by the way, that I'm playing on right now. Like, legit. 100% normal. Legit career. Still there, bud? Yeah, I'm still here, buddy. All right. Let's see. What part do I have that's locked? That's on those aircraft. I'm very confused. Doesn't look like anything's on there that's not supposed to be. Alright. So anyway. Um I'm gonna go in and remove you. Okay, we're gonna go in and add on a small mono propellant tank and some mono propellant thrusters.
and then auto propellant tank. That's the small one. Mm. Right, that's a bigger one. <clears throat> Much better. All right. Um, grab this whole thing. Drop it right there. That should have the probe core in it. I can't remember. Pretty sure the probe core is in that. All right. So now I just need to. Pretty sure I have a probe core on this. Pretty sure. So. Alright. My staging's all messed up. You up there. You up there. You up here. No, not you. You up here, and okay, all right, bearing all the way to the top, actually, right about there, okay. Oh, I need to add power to it. Just to make absolutely certain that there is no way I could possibly mess this up my first time doing it for you to see. <laughs> Drop that on there. Are these the ones that don't retract or are these the ones that do retract? These ones are the ones that don't. Okay, yeah. We're going to use one by six. Yes. Okay. All right, so this is how I dock in this game. Uh, save craft. Launch craft. What? What are you talking about? Why do I have it on here and built it with it if it's unavailable? Oh my god, this is so stupid. All right. Hold on. Get rid of that fairing. Is there another fairing I have that I can use? Got a 1.5 fairing. Fantastic. Okay. Just go in here, click on this. Boom. Perfect. Would you just look at it? Would you just look at it? Now I gotta go in and freaking fix everything all over again. Launch craft. I should just be using a corner of my uh Okay. Yeah, man. There's a lot of lag for, for me on this side anyway, so. Alright, here we go. I just realized the fairing's in the wrong spot. <laughs> Who having that? Here we go. Alright. Turn the throttle down. Right here? You click on it, it shows you delta V. I do not need all that delta V. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna turn it down even more. So, hold on, actually I gotta lift off first. But 324, so it's safe to assume I'm just gonna use like the bottom third right around here of my thrust. Because if I split it up into threes, like I, I gotta get around 1.1 to 1.2 to have the best like trajectory. Look at that, 1.7. I was pretty damn close. You know, I just realized. What's that? 
No docking port. School <laughs> <laughs> boy. I forgot. I forgot the docking port. Oh no! I remembered everything else, but forgot the docking port. I'm just gonna do a side dock. Like, just throw a docking port on the side of it and call it good. Docking port. Just a basic one. Right over... Right here. About midway down, right there. Perfect. Actually, you know what? We'll put it right here above the window. Beautiful. All right. Save craft. Launch the craft. Hold on one second. I want to mute my stream. Yeah, cool. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. No, it's all right. Dude. Yeah, my daughter was like uh, super excited over something, and I just burst her bubble. So <laughs> I don't know if that makes me a terrible parent or not, but like, all right, here we go. Breathing in your mic really hard, bud. Uh, no bad. Yeah, it's better. Yeah, this is the most fuel efficient way to launch yourself right here. And then right around mm. 2,000, as long as you're above 2,000 meters and you got more than. Um, 60 meters a second of uh, thrust, you can start laying it over to the side just a little bit at a time. Just gonna slowly bring it over. At about 10K, I want to be laying at 45 degrees. Just slowly maneuver it over. Make sure you keep your throttle. Then you want to be sitting at about 45 degrees, right when you hit 10 grand. And this is the most fuel efficient way to burn all the way out. And then right about here is where you start fighting with arrow forces and gets really annoying for a little bit and you hit about 20k and then you'll be good and you'll coast all the way out
I'm barely using any fuel, you see it? Yeah. And it's still speeding. Yep. That's why I was trying to tell you, this is the most fuel efficient way to do it. Because once you get up into the upper atmosphere, you're golden. And I'm still really speeding up, too. I don't know if you've caught on to that or not, but, like... Yeah, I mean, I've, I've just seen, you know, you just pass 700 meters a second. Yeah. So there's a bit of a delay there. But still, I only need, like, 1,300 more meters a second to circularize. Like mm. right now. You know what I mean? Yeah. There we go. So 35, you're at 30. Um, 45, you're at 20. And 55, you're at 10 degrees on the nav ball. Yeah. And I'll burn you all the way out. Slowly bringing it down to 10. Okay, so now my app waps is at 70 flat. I'm going to bring it straight down. And actually, I'm going to go just a little bit negative as I go. And the reason being is because I don't want my app waps is to get too high. I wanted to stay right around 75k, so I'm going to actually start adjusting my orbit. There we go. some of these you notice how I have like 600 extra G's of fuel yeah a lot of fuel left over or 600, 600 meters a second of fuel so this is just my uh, orbital insertion type rocket right here that's it that's all this is mm -hmm. it's not built to like actually do rendezvous and stuff like that so 
I'm going to force it kind of to do something it's not really designed to do. Okay. I'm waiting to get outside of the atmosphere before I hit this this boost and really push out the uh, the orbit to full circulation. Should be just about there. And I am there. So now I can, or well, now I'm now I'm there. So now I can start doing my circularization burn. Yeah, I need to drop this down here. So all I'm doing is making an orbital adjustment, and uh, there you go. Now I'm in a, uh, a perfect orbit. All right, not a perfect orbit, but dang, they're close. All right, so I want to rendezvous with the space station, which is just in front of me, right? Because I'm right here, I think. Yeah, I'm right there. Yeah, that's me. All right, so... I'm going to grab this one, set as target, and you see how I'm not quite lining up on either of those nodes? You there, bud? Yeah, I'm still there, yeah. There's a bit okay. of a delay, so... Oh, you're watching on my streaming. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. got you. So, the two orange nodes there, I'm just going to keep explaining as, and you'll see it as it comes. So, yeah, the two yeah, orange yeah. nodes aren't that close together, and neither are the purple ones. So, what I'm going to end up doing is going in, like, right about here. Oops. I want to reset that. That's target. Uh, I'm going to go in, and I'm just going to put in a node. And actually, it would be best if I put the node on... I can't remember which one it is. I think it's, I think it's this orange one right here. Cause what is that point of intersection? Intersect, point of intersection. I can't remember which one of these it's on. I think it's this one. Oh God, let me control my life a little better. There we go. Yeah, okay, so it is on this one. So I'll grab this right here, add a maneuver. And all I'm gonna do is go in and play with the um, settings. Hold on, let me pop up my apoapsis and periapsis. Yeah, see, that would wind up putting me way under. So what I'm going to end up doing... See, I'll wind up burning in the atmosphere before I get to it. So what I need to do is actually extend it out. And because it's on the apoapsis already, I don't like that. So I'm going to change the maneuver node. Because it's going to take me way more fuel to do it that way than to come over here on the periapsis. Is that 85 meters a second? Because whatever I speed up, I have to slow back down. So I have to make sure I have enough fuel to deal with that. Right now I'm sitting around 500 meters a second. So I want to make sure I just want to push it out enough to where it's like in four rotations, I'm going to wind up intersecting. That's what I'm doing right now. Um, 
perfect. All right. So I'm just going to run this around till I get to the to the point that I need to be at. So now that I'm here at this point, what I'll do is I'll speed up a little bit uh, and just a few seconds. I want to make sure that I get myself to targeting before I get to the blue node, before I get to the point where my um, my burn time is like I got I got negative or I got two more minutes until I have to burn. So I want to make sure that I get my um, rocket set up to go by the time I get there. So now I can just fast forward a little bit. That looks like it's about a fourth. Okay. I'm actually not going to full burn for one second. I'm going to go over top of this and burn a little bit uh, for probably like 30 seconds to a minute instead. That way I can have micro control over what I'm trying to do. So I'm doing a very slow burn and it's going to take me another 10 more seconds before I actually get to the circularization that I want. And then once I get around to the point where I meet up with the space shuttle or the space station, I'll have to slow back down and that's how I intercept it. There it is. Perfect. So there you go. Now I've got it in a fourth, so it'll take me probably four rotations to get to that point where I intersect. And then I'll have to adjust accordingly. Come on, game. There we go. So that's one rotation. Boom. There's another rotation. Right here. And all I'm doing is letting the space station get ahead of me and come around. I can actually intercept that one right there, right now, probably. This one right here, I could probably intercept that one right now if I wanted to. On the next go around. Come on, float around, float around, float around, float around, float around, float around. There we go. All right. Let me slow this down and look at my maneuver node. So if I place a maneuver node right there, because that's going to be the closest point as far as the over intersecting um, lines go. And I go like this.
Okay, so that's not gonna work. Let me just move this over this. And let's see what happens if I do this. Okay, so yeah, I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna have to go around one more time. And it should line up almost perfectly for the next one. And if it doesn't, then I'll be able to adjust it just ever so slightly. That way it does. Because this one's very, this, this next jump's going to be pretty close. And stop, go here, click on this, add maneuver. Actually, I want to add a maneuver right here. Close this. I'm going to want to add a maneuver right, probably right here, in front of my craft just now, so that, that way I can get it really close. Boom. Dang, they're perfect. Look at that. Now they're over top of each other. So now all I have to do is burn off 28 seconds, and... Um, I will be golden. There it is. Beautiful. Now I'm perfectly lined up. I'm going to go ahead and go in here and just do a edit random. Boom. Done. Save. I'll run around. Um, Run around real quick. All right. So once I get around and that space station and I start to line up, so probably right about here going to want to back off of my speed I'm going to want to hop in this menu or like this just to this part I'm looking to see if I can find the space station there it is and now all I'm doing is uh, lining up the pink marker and the yellow marker so these are both uh, slow down nodes I think these are both like how do, how do I explain this? So the three dots and the peri or the, the, the prograde or retrograde. So yeah, it's the two retrograde nodes. There we go. The retrograde of the target and the retrograde of the, um, of the, uh, the, the actual craft that you're flying itself. So what you want to do is you want to get these lined up. And when you do that, what will end up happening Yeah, see, there it is. It's coming close. What will end up happening is as you line these up, um, you will literally go right into the target that you're trying to go to. So 
So now I got to go down here and move it up again. Just ever so slightly. See, I'm moving toward the target the entire time with no issues. Just by doing this. Now I just got to rotate around. Correct it. Bring it back in. Now what I need to do, so the target speed is the speed in which I'm moving toward the craft. So I'm actually going to flip this around and speed myself up because I will be fighting with this for hours if I'm this far away from the craft. So I want to get a little bit closer. And how I'm going to do that is by just flipping over to prograde and um, burning while lining it up. Just like this. That way I'm moving in toward him. It'll slowly drift as I get closer. Just like that. And you just got to keep lining up those, those nodes. Over and over again. I don't really want to take away my speed. I don't really want to add speed. All I'm trying to do is get those nodes to add up. So... Right. There's good. And then continue to go toward it. And then now that I'm getting really close is whenever I go into prograde mode or to, to um, retrograde side and I start to slow myself down. And I need to do it quickly because I'm going to pass it if I don't. So... Slow myself down really quick. That way I can actually get to a point where I am lined up and coming in nice and smooth. I'm going to check my mono propellant because once I detach, I'm going to need a lot of mono propellant to get myself there and docked nicely. So I'm less than a kilometer out. One, or I'm almost less than a kilometer out. Once I get to a kilometer out, I'm going to boost off the majority of my speed. I'm going to get down to right around 10 meters a second heading toward the target. And then I'm going to solely rely on um, my, my uh, booster. Or my, my, my monopropellant, not my booster. So I'm going to break away from my booster... Once I get down to that speed. Perfect. I'm actually going to break away from it. Because I no longer need it. Uh, decouple. Perfect. Hopefully that doesn't run into my space station. Am I going right by it? Okay. Whatever. All right. So I'm going to rotate to a point where, oh man, I'm like all lost. All right. Hold on. All right. So right here, because I detached, I lost my tracking. I'm going to go to docking mode. And I'm in a linear, so I'm going to go forward. Oop. I'm going to lock it in right here. Go forward. Okay, I need to go to the map real quick. Zoom in. Space station, space station, space station, space station, space station, space station. Where are you? <sighs> I 
Okay. I'm probably about to pass it. Yeah, I passed it. Where is it? Where'd you go? Where did you go, space station? I can't find the space station. I lost it. Pretty sure I passed it. Where are you? What in the world? Okay. So where is... That it? That's it. Right there. There we go. For whatever reason, it is not allowing me to. There we go. Come on, let me grab the space station. Right here. I'm having issues. Oh my god. There we go. Perfect. Got it. Had a little issue there. Alright, so... Moving at 5 meters a second away from target. Where is my target? That's not it. That's not my target. Where the heck is my space station? It's not even lighting up anymore. That my space station even exists. Okay, that's just oddly bizarre. Alright, anyway. Um, so what I'm going to end up doing is just exactly like I told you guys. I'm going to go here. Oh, actually, I just need to straight up linear... I'm going to go this way because for whatever reason this is going the opposite direction. I'm hardly going to use any mono propellant on this on the way over to the space station. But I'm just going to guide myself in without even seeing it because for some strange reason my game's glitched out. So we're going to go about 10 meters a second. Until I can see it. bizarre that's not loaded in apparently it's that direction okay Apparently, oh, there it is. Now I see it. That was weird. All right. So I'm going to start slowing down now because I'm approaching really stinking fast. And, um, like I said, always use those nodes. And the greatest part about them is that with the target, like it is, it'll always guide you right to it as long as you line those two up. And once you got it, you got it. It's not one of those things that, like, once, you, you, once you've done it once, you will be able to do it over and over again. You just get, it's one of those things that you just have to practice with time. So I really slow down whenever I get very close. And then I'm just going to pull it over to here, just like that. Yeah. 
All right. Now all I'm going to do is rotate. Get myself into place. I'm going to go to right here. Where's the node? Docking node should be right through here somewhere. There it is. I'm going to control from here because that makes it easier. I didn't mean to control from, I actually meant to put um, in camera, not control, but that's okay. See? And then just slowly. get it to a point where you can angle it, turn it back to linear. Oh goodness, it's probably not going to let me park here. probably gonna hit that other uh, barrel There it is. Okay, so that's kind of weird. I'm just going to angle this until it finally snaps into place. Hold on. Let me go in here and retract this because this is something that's a fighting it too. Retract the solar panel. Okay. Because I'm like right there. I'm like about to dock. It's just not... Oh, there it is. It launched me away. All right. Oh, geez. So that happens sometimes. Not a big deal. I'm just docking this in such a weird place because of the way that this is not. Because it just doesn't fit right. So I'm just kind of docking this in a weird place in general. But like I said, it takes a little bit of time. But once you got it, you got it. All right. I also only try to move in one direction at a time. There it is. Boom. And that's how you dock. That's it. That's all she wrote.
boom. All done. All right, so what'd you think, man? Yeah, I just what? Yeah, I just watched all that. Yeah, that's pretty. That's a pretty cool way of doing it. Um, I've been trying to do that for freaking ages, and I've been having a look on YouTube for videos how to do it. And people just, oh, you got to do this, then you got to do this, then you got to do this, and they just literally rattle through it, and you're like, whoa, what the hell did you say first? That's. I was just trying so, to explain, you know, as easily as possible while showing you. Did that make sense to you? That made like sense as a yeah, whole. Is there anything yeah, you had yeah. questions about? Yeah, yeah. No, no, that, that's pretty cool. That, um, yeah, I'm. That's because when, when when you see them on YouTube and you, you see guys like, well, you got to do this, then you got to do this, and they're like, but I'm just fucking trying to figure out what the hell's happened on that side there, and you're already explaining the, like the next part afterwards. So I might. Like, you're trying to figure out like everything in one go. Yeah. No, I get it. So check this out. Um, I'm going to go to my tracking station and I'm going to show you one of the yeah. biggest lifesavers and in uh, like mono propellant and fuel efficiency and being able to be part efficient as well. That way your Xbox doesn't overload and die. You know what I mean? So yeah. at, at any given point, I only have, so like my fuel tanks mm. are literally the fuel tank and then four monopropellant um, clusters on one side or the other, and then two docking ports. That's basically what my, um, hold on, let me go in here and look at my stations. Oh yeah, here, here you go. Just so you can see my legit career and my network. Absolutely massive. Yeah, so that's my network. Um, so what I was trying to do, go to, is... Um, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, you just saw it afterwards, huh? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, that's... So oh you came God. to the right guy to help you out, man. That's for sure. All right, so yeah. I got three space stations. I'm going to go to the Mun space station because this is the one that I honestly think has it. So little bonus um it's got so i literally take my fuel tanks have five par, uh seven parts total that's my refueling fuel tanks that i actually attach to my space stations have seven parts total the biggest fuel tank i can find two um docking ports on either side and uh hold on one second hey i'm about done i'm gonna hop out here in a second yeah, okay, dude. Yeah. All right, I'll, sorry. I'll, no, my, 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 my wife was calling me. Sorry. Anyway, um, <laughs> just just real quick. I'm just going to show you this real quick, and then I'm going to hop off, okay? So. Yeah, cool. Oh, goodness, the sun. All right. So, to kill the parts efficiency, you see how much... I have a lot of parts built into this. So, basically, you see these little clusters on the end? Like right here? Yeah. All right here. Those are my moving clusters, okay? So I have the tank, monopropellant tank, because I need two tanks on it in order to refill stuff. I've got a docking port on either side, and then four monopropellant clusters on here, and then I just use this little machine. I undock it, drag it over to the other location, dock it back, and then detach whatever I'm trying to move and then move it mm. and then reattach it. And these are just kind of like little tug cars. Think of them as like a semi truck. And then this is the trailer. Yeah. And I have two semi trucks, but I have eight. I have three semi trucks and I have eight trailers. You know what I, uh, you get what I'm saying? And that's just kind of yeah, how yeah. I run it. That's kind of how I run my space stations. And this one was just kind of like build the space station in this location. So that's what I did. This wasn't like me actually trying to build something pretty. Here, man, I'm going to give you two other. I'll, I'll give you two other people to talk to. They're probably going to be yeah, cool. either really young kids or not really young kids. But hey, man, um, <laughs> let me do this. Uh, so. I'm going to hop off the stream, guys. Thank you for watching. If you did stick with me this whole time and you were watching the whole thing, I appreciate it. Um, this was a how-to doc.
video and uh, hopefully you guys learned something and uh, we will oh, see definitely. you all in the next video.